What's up, y'all? Clean Cuts one back with another video, and uh, keeping with you know the updates, keeping with the production, keeping up with the content. You know, um, I, I I don't know if you guys can't tell, but I, I I I don't regret anything that's happened in the process. But I do wish that there was like 27 hours in a day. I do wish that I had simultaneously like opened up the shop and really like took you guys with me as all the things happened in the shop that happened. Wasn't able to do that, um, but I am trying to make up for it. And I hope you guys can see that. So, um, in keeping up with, uh, you know, the vlog and the updates and everything that's been going on in the shop, um, I'm currently going through something that I think is worth addressing because I get a lot of comments and I get a lot of uh, inboxes, you know, asking me about when is it time for me to open up a shop. As a lot of you know, I, um, I spent 10 months in barber school. By month 11, uh, I had graduated. By month 12, I had my license. Then I spent 11 months in a barber shop before I ventured out and opened up Clean Cut Grooming Lounge. On July 3rd, 2018, uh, we will have been open for one year. So our first year has been a successful year. We've uh, done well. There's been, I don't want to say there's been like a lot of ups and downs because it's mostly just been ups. Like we've just continued to grow. We've continued to progress. The community has received us and accepted us. And it's, it's really been an awesome process. And I would highly recommend that anybody that has a goal or has a vision of becoming a barbershop owner that you pursue that. I don't think there's a time frame that it takes. Uh, I don't think you have to be cutting hair for 10 years. I don't think that you have to be ready because I know me personally, I've never owned a business in my life. I've never done taxes in my life. I've never kept books in my life. Uh, realistically, seven years ago, I'm a junkie running around Knoxville with, you know, wet pants and the same dirty socks and shooting pills and smoking crack. Like that's what I was doing. And I just started cutting hair three years ago. So uh, the shop's been open for a year. I don't see why there's any reason why if it can happen for me that it can happen for you um, if you're willing to do what it takes. But right now I'm in a season where um, I've been having to work a lot. Like when I had, you know, uh, Tommy, Matt, myself, Alex, and Anthony, right? Had five chairs, boom, and then like, you know, every day schedules are getting filled up. We're just going, 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 right? So as uh, the income comes in I invest more money into the shop right so I've got more coming in so I make more investments and um, part of what's awesome about being a barber is that to a degree right with respect to the owner with respect to the brand when you work appointments you get to know your schedule ahead of time you can plan around your schedule and your clients you get to spend more time with your family you know things like that and I try to allow the barbers that work at clean cut grooming lunch I want them to be able to exercise that Time with family is what's important. Vacations are what's important. The quality of the time spent is what's important. So I want to do whatever I can to cultivate an atmosphere of family and really let these guys enjoy everything that comes along with being a barber, including the lifestyle inside and outside of the barber shop. But I find myself at a time now to where, um, I know I kind of told you guys, um, you know, Tommy was working here. And uh, Tommy had to go take care of some personal business. Not going to get into his personal stuff, but he had to go handle some business and take care of himself. And hopefully when we expand in a year, you know, he'll have himself taken care of and he'll be able to come back and we'll rehire him again. Uh, but I lost Tommy, right? Uh, Alex Wade is an amazing guitar player in a band called Whitechapel. All you got to do is Google him, Alex Wade. That's it. Just Google Alex Wade. Uh, then furthermore, you can Google Whitechapel. Half of you already know who it is. He's the guitar player for Whitechapel, so he's on tour about, you know, maybe three months out of the year, nationwide tours. So Alex is gone right now. Matt is on vacation this week. Anthony has doctor's appointments and obligations this week, and so that puts me behind the chair a lot of the time. And that means that I'm solely responsible for bringing in the money that's necessary. So when you think about opening up a barber shop, I want to encourage you. One of the most important things that I had to ask myself before I opened it up was, can I float this thing by myself? If all of these barbers were to have an uprising and just leave and left me here by myself, I've created a brand, I've created an expectation, I've created friends out of clients, and I have a responsibility to those people regardless of if I have people working here or not. Ultimately, when you're uh, the owner, 
every responsibility falls on you. And I want to encourage you guys to go ahead and right now, assume that every responsibility falls on you. If something doesn't work out, it's your fault. Go ahead and just accept that because you'll save a lot of time trying to place blame and like wasting time. Just assume that you're responsible for everything, right? And if things don't go your way, figure out what you could have done differently or how you contributed to uh, that negative circumstance taking place and then work in that area of your life. Are we responsible for everything that happens? No. But what you'll find is that if you take responsibility ahead of time, you'll save yourself a lot of time, a lot of heartache, and you'll end up doing stuff um, that other people would expect other people to do for them. Nobody can give you what only you can give yourself. So you got to ask yourself, can I float this thing by myself? If I'm by myself, can I cut enough heads to pay my water bill, my rent, uh, if I've got shears on down payment plans or something like that, can I afford everything by myself? And uh, when I was sitting here doing my numbers, doing my books and doing my math, I'm grateful to say that yes, I was right. I can, I can float this whole thing by myself based on the haircuts. Um, and I got to tell you, like a lot of times I block time off of my schedule to do the administrative duties of the shop, whether it be going and stocking the snack bar or if it's going and, uh, you know, cleaning the shop or doing whatever it is. There's a lot of stuff that has to take place in a barbershop besides cutting hair. I block off time out of my schedule to go do those things. Now, I've been standing on that mat from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. nonstop, no moving, praying for a cancellation. And they don't happen often because the booking software that I use um, charges the card for no call, no shows. So people showing up for them haircuts. A lot of you guys have been asking, can I start my shop now? Is it a good idea for me to start a shop? Man, there's nothing stopping you from opening up a barber shop except for yourself, believing in yourself. If somebody tries to hold you back or tell you that you shouldn't do something, look, I can't tell you, you know, maybe they know you better than I do. My experience is that couldn't nobody tell me nothing. They told me appointments wouldn't work. They told me um, I was opening up my shop too early. They told me they didn't like the way that I was doing things, uh, that I didn't have to lay clients back and it wasn't about the experience and that you, my haircuts needed to be the best in order to be uh, a successful barber. None of that's true. My experience is that you got to be a good person. You got to have good character first. You got to really care about your clients and be in love with this industry. And there's nothing that you can't do. Develop those relationships. Meet the people who have already had success in the areas that you want to be successful in. I've said it a million times, right? And Basio says something that I really like um, that I've held on to, and it's success is replicated. It leaves clues. Look at what people are doing. Don't copy them. Find your lane and find your niche and apply the principle of what somebody else did. For instance, if somebody's working 17 hours a day, work 17 hours a day. If somebody's inventing a shave gel, that don't mean invent a shave gel. That means find the product that's for you. If you want a product, man, figure out what product your clients need. Maybe they need uh, their scalps to be moist because the, the weather is cold. So make a good leave-in conditioner or I don't know what it is. I mean, just do what successful people do. So I'm trying to share with you right now. It's hard, man. My back hurts, but um, because I'm standing, I'm cutting a whole bunch of heads. But, I mean, the clients pay for the haircuts, so I'm still making money. Uh, but, yeah, so I just wanted to share what I'm going through with you right now, bring you uh, through the vlog. Whew. Tired, man. For real. I'm tired. Oh. Still, um still in the gym I find that uh, when I focus on my personal wellness and my personal well-being and going to the gym and stuff like that that when I'm on my way home from the gym that I have this drive like the whole time that I'm in the gym I'm focusing I'm thinking about my business I'm thinking about my priorities I'm thinking about my affairs and I drive by the shop on my way home and I just can't find an excuse not to stop in the shop and let you guys know what's on my mind because I spend an hour in the gym thinking about everything that's important to me and so it's only right that I come and share it with you guys on my way while it's fresh on my mind. Is it easy? No. Like I want to go home and eat some chicken. I want to go home and uh, spend time with the wife and kids and I'm going to do that. This video is 10-15 minutes long tops. Consistency. I will say that consistency is the number one principle in this thing. Have I been perfect at it? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. I've, I've been terrible at consistency but the fact is I'm trying I failed I failed often I failed hard um, 
but I've also succeeded in a lot of different areas and the successes outweigh the failures for sure because every time we fail, we learn from it. I don't mean to just keep spitting all kinds of random bars at you guys. I really didn't have a topic. What I wanted to talk about was can you open up a shop? The answer is yes. Make sure that you can float it by yourself and handle your business. If there's anything you guys want to talk about being a shop owner, drop it in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. I'm just dropping some nuggets on y'all for right now to hold y'all over till I drop another video. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I still appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Till next time, peace.